right, so let's solve this math problem here. All right, so the length of the, rec of the rectangle is three feet longer than the width. If the area of the sign is 54 square feet, find the length and its width. All right, so here's the thing is that let's gonna let's call x the length no let's call x the width all right how big the width is all right and let's call x plus three the length now why are we doing x plus three here is because the length of the rectangular sign here is three feet longer than the width so the length is three bigger than the width all right so then that's why we're adding three okay also, it, the problem states that the area is 54 square feet, and it's a rectangle, all right? And then you should know that the area of the rectangle is equal to the width times the length, all right? Now, we don't know what the width and the length is, so that's why we're using the variables x and x plus 3, all right? So let's plug that in, all right? Now, notice, all right, so we're going to plug in everything that we know. The area of the rectangle is 54. The width is x. And the length is x plus 3. All right? And then after multiplying that, I know we're going to distribute it, okay? So 54 is equal to, all right? So x, you're going to distribute the x into the x and 3 each time, all right? So x times x is x squared x times 3 is 3x. Okay, so now, so now we got, so now we kind of got a simplified equation here. However, it's not that simple if you just did like linear um, calculations, right? So now we're going to subtract the 54. Okay, and then we're going to subtract the 54 on both sides to this side. So that way, 0 is equal to x squared plus 3x minus 54. All right, so now notice that this is now in a quadratic formula, in a quadratic equation, is that the a is 1, b is 3, and c is negative 54. And a, b, and c are coefficients of x squared, x, and just a number, respectively. Okay, now, we can't, you have two options of doing this. One, you could do the quadratic equation, or you could do it by factoring. But since this uh, equation is relatively simple enough, we're gonna do it in the factoring form. Okay, so let's think of it. So let's come up with this one, right? So we need to think of two numbers that equal negative 54, but at the same time that when you add these two, yeah, so when you multiply these two numbers, it equals negative 54, but if you add these two numbers, it becomes three. Oops. <laughs> All right. So think think about it for a minute. The only two numbers that can multiply to ne negative fifty four but add to three is negative six and nine. Wait. Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. So it'll be negative six and nine. So that means that. Oops. Sorry. Okay, so then that means that, so that means that when you rewrite your equation, that means it will be x minus 6 times x plus 9, all right? And then you could, and then you could set them equal to 0 using the zero product property. So then according to that, then x is equal to 6 and x is equal to negative 9. Okay, we get we got two answers. Great. But let's think of let's think of this in context though. Can you really have a negative length? No, right? You only have a length of either 0 or positive. So then that means that the length must be 6 and not negative 9 because think about it. It would be kind of weird if you had a negative length, right? Or width, I should say, or both. All right, so since we know x equals to 6, so then that means x is equal, the width is equal to 6, and the width and length is equal to 6 plus 3 equals 9. Okay, that's the answer. All right, I hope that helped you. If you, have any, if you. if you would like to give me any feedback in the comments, I will be very appreciative of it. Thank you.